This is a short video showing the latest addition to the Motion platform. The Samsung 34-inch ultra-wide monitor costs 649 Australian dollars, and the Artis monitor arm was $59 from eBay. The Samsung is a 75Hz monitor that can be overclocked successfully to 95Hz without frame skipping using the custom resolution utility by Toasty X. There are a couple of good threads out there discussing this and what can be reliably achieved. It has a native resolution of 3440 by 1440 which is the primary reason I picked this monitor over the more expensive LG 34 inch with only 2560 by 1080 resolution. So it came down to a choice of refresh rate over resolution. I would need to spend over 2000 to take the resolution to the next step with something like the 49 inch LG Super Ultra Wide with its 5120 by 1440 resolution. There was also the issue of weight with monitors of that size on a monitor arm and I wanted to avoid standing the monitor on a desk or mounting it to a wall. The Samsung Ultra Wide I chose has a resolution of 1440 vertically, reducing pixelation over the lower 1080 vertical resolution of other similar sized monitors. The Artis monitor arm is very sturdy and is rated up to 8 kilograms. The model I used was the MABSC12BK. The Samsung monitor weighs 6 kilograms without the stand, so it's well within range. The arm comes with two types of clamping systems. One of them would require drilling a hole through the desk and using the circular plate that you can see here. I used the other G-clamp style to attach it to my IKEA Utby bar table. There wasn't much assembly needed, simply attach the upright post using three screws to the G-clamp and slide the arm over the top. There are a variety of screw lengths applied for attaching the visa plate to the monitor. I only needed the shortest ones. The monitor came in a black shrink wrap cardboard box with the usual accessories including a 2 meter HDMI cable. I used a 3 meter display port cable for my rig as it performs better with overclocking the monitor. The monitor also has a handy 3 millimeter audio socket for headphones and the audio comes through the video cable. There are four plastic spacers supplied with the arm uh, to be used under the visa mounting plate. After the plate is attached, simply slide it over the end of the arm and secure it with the supplied bolt. In my setup, the arm was nearly at the bottom of the post, so there was little if any leverage. The arm did bend though with the monitor on the end. I have no concerns at all that the arm is overloaded or that it will fail at any time soon. On Windows 10 there wasn't anything to do in the way of installing drivers. Windows automatically configured everything as soon as the PC booted. I, wanted a couple of, I watched a couple of movies and some HD clips on YouTube after everything was set up. Now once you experience this size monitor, there is no going back. It is amazing. It would be a worthy addition to any sim racing or flight sim setup. So, if you get motion sickness while sim racing in VR, this is definitely a monitor to consider over multi-monitor alternatives. It takes up less room, there is no distracting frame borders, and as the video shows, it's easy to mount. Well, I hope that was useful. Bye for now.